Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by the channel. I just bought a tractor. This is my very first tractor. I've never had one before. I've needed one for years and I finally got one. All right, so I've never been on a tractor before. I have operated heavy equipment in my past, back in my 20s. I'll show you what that looked like here. Yeah, so those are way bigger than this, but they're a totally different animal. And there's gonna be quite a learning curve operating this. So I picked the tractor up yesterday. I did not load it on the trailer. The guy at the equipment dealer put it on there for me. So I have not even sat on this tractor yet. I don't, I don't know how it feels to operate it or anything. So this is gonna be interesting. All right, I'm gonna get the ramps down. I'm gonna fire it up, let it warm up for a bit, and I'm gonna back it off the trailer. All right, I got the ramps down. Here we go. It's my first time on this tractor. Whoa. What the? Got to adjust the seat. <laughs> Went right to the floor. All right, let's start it up. This is brand new, by the way. It's got 1.6 hours on it. Okay, I think that's gonna be warmed up enough for me to move it. <laughs> that's smooth. All right guys, there you go. That's my first time on this puppy. That was super simple. I'm gonna get the hang of this real quick. <laughs> Smiles. Okay, so let's talk about the tractor for a minute. This is a 2023 Coyote DK6010 SE with a hydrostatic transmission. The tractor came with a front end loader. I had to add and purchase the backhoe. Both the front end loader and the backhoe are removable and they're not that difficult to take off. There's also a pretty stout three point in the back for uh, different implements. So Coyote tractors have been around for many years. I've been interested in them for about the last, probably since I bought this property eight years ago. 
I've really been torn between the Coyote and the other orange tractor, the well-known orange tractor, if you know what I mean. And I was gonna buy the other tractor, the orange one, but circumstances led me to Coyote. These tractors get really good reviews. I've been watching a YouTube channel called NB88. Some of you already know who he is. He's got a Coyote tractor that he's had for years and he absolutely loves it, has no complaints about it. Now this is a much newer tra tractor and it does have uh, emission compliant modifications done to it. And that's less desirable for some people. But since they started that about, oh, eight, nine years ago, they've had very little issues with that system. This tractor does have a DPF system, a diesel particulate filter in line with the exhaust. It does not use DEF fluid, diesel exhaust fluid. So over time, it catches the soot from the exhaust. You gotta keep the RPMs up somewhere around the 2000 mark and somewhere between, I don't know what it is, 30 and 50 hours. It'll go through a regen. It takes for anywhere from 15 to 25 minutes to do it. You just keep going about your business on the tractor and let it do its thing. Okay, so this tractor is manufactured in South Korea. There are a number of tractor models and brands that are manufactured in South Korea and they've been doing it for a very long time and they're, most of them are pretty solid product. Okay, so this tractor has a Daedong three cylinder turbo diesel engine and it produces 57.7 horsepower. I'm not sure how many horsepower go to the PTL on the rear. I think it's somewhere in the mid to high 40 horsepower, which I think will be just fine out here. Let me get you a closer look of what the engine looks like. So there's the front. You got your air filter here. Your diesel particulate filter is that silver looking tube contraction back there. You got your computer ECM or PCM up there on the top. Pretty simple, not a whole lot to it. Your battery's right down here at the front. There's your exhaust. If you're in a regen, you might want to consider keeping this up a little bit, your, your loader arm, because this is going to get really hot in a regen. And there are hydraulic lines over here. And you don't want to heat those up too much. You got your alternator, starter, and ah, there's the little baby turbo right there. This tractor did come with a loader bucket level indicator. I'm not sure that I'll, I'll use that. I don't know, we'll see over time. There's your fuel filter right here. And oil filter, I believe. And it's hard to see it, but there's your oil fill cap right there. Where my finger is in there. And hydraulic pumps right here. All right guys, so in the interest of ever diminishing attention spans these days, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. If you wanna see more content of me learning how to use this thing and different things I'm gonna do, like my first uh, stump removal with the backhoe, go ahead and check out my future videos. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon and please give me a thumbs up and uh, you guys will be notified of future videos when I take this thing out, learn how to use it, and hopefully I don't break it. So you guys take care, be safe, and I'll see you in the next video.